All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Dee's Divinity, Dee's Divine Tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful energy reading. Let's see what's going on, y'all. <laughs> Before we do, we should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading. Keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you and it's perfectly okay. Take what does and let the rest fly. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected. Friend, family, or foe, I do not know your life. Please use your free will and discernment to determine that, all right? I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting because you want to force something to fit that really wasn't meant for you in the first place. We also do not subscribe to gender roles over here. However, you will likely hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, which we all have both within us. So once again, roles may be reversed. Flip flop yourself as you need to and do not force that shoe to fit if it doesn't. All right. Finally, I am big on numerology, whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day and or month that you're born, potentially the house that you may want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart, whatever, what have you, okay? The decks have already been shuffled and blessed, and without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this, but first, let's get a quick word of prayer. To the most high, heavenly and divine, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, I come to you to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for this day and for this opportunity. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages straight and clear to the collective no chaser. Thank you for the gift of reason, of insight, of awareness, for the gift of the tongue, the voice. Thank you for the clairs, all of them. Thank you for the love, the support. Thank you for integrity, honesty, truth. Thank you for value. There's so much I can go on and on and thank you for, but I truly thank you for all of the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. As always, I pray that the message uplifts, enlightens, heals, strengthens, protects, nurtures, nourishes, bring forth whatever the viewer may need, and may it play out in our lives for the utmost and highest good for any and all involved, as I know you will see fit. I also come ask and give thanks in advance for you binding unwinding, rewinding, and misaligning us from any low vibe negative energies, entities, and or vibrations that are intended to come through to hurt, harm, or endanger us. Thank you. Thank you for shielding and protecting us. All these blessings I come ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, 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 oh. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, my beautiful Kathy's. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Like I told Taurus, man, Y'all may be in y'all may want to check their reading guide. You may have something to do with a Taurus, or you may find yourself in a similar position with a Taurus. Like, like, um, I'm gonna get into these in a minute. I want to get them all out there, but like where you was looked over, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to say, I don't even know why I'm laughing, but I don't want to say disregarded, but it's like, you know, you may have felt left out, rejected, um, just not part of the crowd. You know, somebody, and I talk, like I told Taurus, the cross watchers of Taurus, don't sleep on Cappy or Taurus if this is you. Then we got two that fell in my lap. I can't even get it together. Hold on. We're going to see about it. We're going to see about it. But don't worry about that. Uh, look, I almost called it Taurus. Don't worry about that, Cappy, because like I told Taurus, there is also energy following that of your the blessings and beauty and rewards or whatever is to come from maybe somebody sleeping on you, you know, you being forgotten about or feeling like that anyways, or rejected. There is a, a, a double back kind of effect. Like I'm even seeing a boomerang right now. So it's coming back to you. So just remember what energy you're in. You know what I mean? Even if you have felt like that five of pentacles, five of cups is what I'm seeing. Like it's okay. Understand it's not happening to you, but for you. We hear that all the time, but we got to really realize what that means. 
So it ain't no time to be in that woe is me energy. Step back and be like, thank you. Thank you for that. You know, thank you for saving me from that tragedy. Whatever would have came down the pipeline had you went that way or versus being rejected, right? Anyway, first one out, we have life is a mystery. It sure is. It's but a dream, isn't it? Bobcat spirit. There's something. You may start feeling tingling sensations. I'm even seeing a mask or an owl like at the third eye. I don't know if you can really see that. But anyways, it's like maybe remove remove the veil, remove the lens, the rose colored lenses that you may have been looking through. Uh, uh, somebody like that is definitely eight. But eight may be important to you in other ways. You may have been born in the month of August or on the eighth of any month, okay? Any of these animals can be spirit guide totems for you or whoever you're dealing with. Number 32, hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. <laughs> Show me the way. It's a beautiful thing as the wind picks up outside. Yeah, listen, 32 being a five, it may be something that, you know, it may be a little hard to swallow or you may not even want to hear necessarily, but I swear it's for your highest good. It's for your growth. It's for your ascension, whoever that's for. It. This may be on the as far as the journey you're taking or maybe needing to take or thinking about taking, Cappy, it is for your highest good. But it may be a little bit difficult or challenging for you with that 32 potentially being a five, okay? And then we have Peacock Spirit and Let It Shine. And what is this? Cat Spirit in reverse. Peacock Spirit is 46, which is a 10 and or one. Cat Spirit is 13 or four. It's bringing me that Scorpionic transformative energy. But Cat Energy says, claim your independence. But it's, oh my bad, but it's in reverse, y'all. So what's up with that? Why y'all not feeling independent? Don't be codependent now. Somebody may be codependent on your light, right? Because I feel like this is your energy, Kathy, with this let it shine, peacock energy. Your heart is glowing. And that, all that heavy green, I feel like that's you. Like that's that earth energy, heart chakra energy that somebody may need to get into. With the cat spirit, I'm even hearing sneaky. Like, I don't know. Let's go through these over a little bit. Even though I know that's not how it is. But yeah. All right, can't mess with those. I hope y'all see them all right. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, B spirit, sweet, re what is it? Sweet results away. This is the blessings on hold, the number seven. Your manifestations, Some somebody, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> somebody is going to be butthurt if y'all don't be patient. Like if y'all don't just wait for divine time. And I feel like who just got that? That's what I'm saying. Uh, um, Taurus got something about uh, I feel like the same thing about spirit guiding you, but something about the divine, like trusting in the divine, whatever, whatever. But it was also in reverse at the bottom of their deck. Go check that reading out because I feel like there's something in there for you, Kathy. Let's uh, dive deeper into this. What is this Bobcat spirit? Wait a minute. Uh -uh. Look how they just threw them all out there, though. Okay. King of Wills. Ooh, and the Empress. Oh my goodness. And then we got the nine of wands with the magician. Somebody really been battling. Somebody been fighting hard. I love this energy right here. Hold on, let me put this big down. I love this energy right here. King of Wills to the Empress. Because it's showing me that this is a power couple. Maybe the King of Wills, whoever that is, masculine energy is not at the level as the feminine or the Empress. However, he's a work in progress. He got three more kingships to conquer before he's the Emperor. But either way, it's still somebody who is solid. This is, I mean, heavy Taurus, but I feel like, I feel like this is you, Cappy, because this generally is what I get your energy to be. It doesn't matter. And, but you may be looking at this divine feminine energy, whether male or female, as a catch, baby. <laughs> I mean, you may have be wondering, like asking yourself, like, how the hell did I even end up here? How did I end up with him or her? You know, really asking yourself that, like, what is this guy <laughs> questioning? But I feel like here, instead of trying to manipulate or because it's something kind of sneaky or I don't know that's going on with these couple together. It, I just I'm getting a little bit of a low vibe, like manipulation type of I mean, we all manipulate, but y'all know what I'm saying. As far as this really, you, it's almost like the devil energy. That's what I'm getting. It's almost like an obsession. 
like somebody with this nine of wands been fighting, 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 fighting for whatever this is. It could just be a job situation to be maybe the boss or CEO or head honcho or HBIC or whatever the fuck, you know, whatever. And it's, but it's, it's what I'm getting is somebody being a little bit like controlling. That's why I said manipulative, very controlling. And it's like, it's, it's, you just surrender. You know what I'm saying? Surrender to the unknown is what I even get from this Bobcat energy. What else is this? Poor Kathy. Mind you, Geminian uh, energy here with the magician could even be Virgo technically because it's mercurial energy. So whatever. And then sage energy here for the nine of wands. But any other fire sign could be relevant for you, including Aries or Leo. What is this for Captain? Somebody is about to offer someone else like a good chunk of chain. <laughs> you may receive an inheritance from this masculine energy. Somebody filling a cup up, somebody nurturing and healing. Like I said, y'all, that is so vital and necessary. What is this for Kathy? I'm telling you, <laughs> talking about that healing. You got to. And it's about your mind. Like, don't play your mind. Somebody may be disappointed because, like I said, it ain't going to plan. It ain't it ain't what you thought. <laughs> yeah. It definitely ain't what somebody thought. It's different over in these parts is what I just heard. <laughs> what does this let spirit be a guy? Where are you guiding for us? <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, y'all. Oof. I don't even know why I did that like that, but oof. Aries energy here. Don't be butting your head. Don't be like somebody causing some unneeded collision, like unneeded conflict, unnecessary and unneeded shit. Either way. Because you're going against your better judgment or your own self. What is this? You may be finding yourself like coming against this. Could be fire sign, any other fire sign, but or even air sign with the hawk spirit. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, uh, Leo, Sage. Anyways, what I'm saying is about which way to go. Like, yeah. <laughs> And then I'm hearing, you can go your own way, go your own way. So look, and somebody about to figure that out. Somebody really about to like try to map this out or be strategic about it. Maybe this is, maybe you found yourself towards coming into conflict. Cause with that Aries energy, it could be a boss. It could be a, an authoritative figure, but I feel like you may be trying to, uh-huh, you may be trying to get your way out of this. That's what you may be manifest. Like, you've been, you probably been fighting to, I heard, teeth and nails. And what is it? Like, fighting to the death to get out of this disappointing situation. Whatever it is, with whoever it is. And definitely could be a boss. Or something with it to do with a contract is what I'm feeling. What else? Give me one more. I was about to call you Aries for Kathy. Give me one more. What is this? Let spirit be your guy. Do your own thing, though. That's what I feel. And don't be ashamed about it. Just give me one. Make it plain, please. Yeah, don't be ashamed about it. Who cares what anybody else got to say? Because there is a lot of air energy out here. Queen of Wands, like I said, she gonna do what she wants to do. She don't give a fuck. She gonna do what she wanna do. She goes after her heart. Heavy Leo energy here. Uh, could be Aries, as I've already said, and Sage included, but Leo for sure. But yeah, she don't give two flying flips what anybody got to say. <laughs> she gonna do that and do it very well and be beautiful all the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and be loving it, you know, enjoying it all the way. Somebody may got a few little secrets about me. They may be trying to sneak out to, because I'm here sneaky link by uh, Savannah Christine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this for, Tori? 
Because that can be. The Queen of Wands can be that promiscuous woman, too. <laughs> Male or female, but it's just, you know, the feminine energy shit. Because you can be a, a, a sneaky-ass male, too. Be promiscuous in that way, too. Four of Wands for Let It Shine and Cat Spirit. It's time for you to celebrate yourself, baby. Put yourself on a pedestal. You know what I mean? Like, not that you higher or mightier than anybody, but I feel for some of you, Cappy, you just been, like, probably beating yourself up, you know? Like, basically mentally plaguing yourself. Allowing ego, because I told y'all I was getting some kind of devilish vibe, right? Allowing ego to take over your mind. Where you're not even enjoying the simple things. Something. But with that four of wands, I do feel like there may be, um, needs to be, if it hasn't happened already, the union or coming together between the masculine and feminine energies within yourself. And, but I feel like you may come, be coming, find yourself coming together and being in the spotlight or shining in front of a group of like-minded individuals, no matter how big or small, okay? At least two people, the two gathering my name are in the, I am in the midst. Ain't that what, yeah. So that's what I'm saying, of like-minded individuals. Ooh, -wee, I'm definitely feeling this Leo vibe. And that is maybe what you're supposed to get. You are supposed to be in the spotlight because they, hey, they want that attention. They sure do. Leo don't mind. You know, they want to be the center of attention. Some of you, it, it's going to take everything in you to just, I'm hearing, bow down and worship me. Worship me. Oh, worship me. And I don't know if y'all heard it. When I was on this second worship hymn, I heard a car screeching for confirmation. So, hey, some of y'all probably not going to know what to do being in this limelight or spotlight and like having people essentially worship you. But listen, it's for you. It's, it's here for you. And that is the truth with, with King of Swords. We got, no, that wasn't you. Uh, who did I just do? Taurus, I'm telling you. Queen of Swords came out for them. And I thought it was yours. But anyway, I feel like some kind of counterpart energy. Even though this is um, this is Aquarian energy, but it could be Libra or Gemini. But what I'm saying is like, this is Archangel Michael coming through like with that truth, with that sound mind, or to help you even gain the sound mind so you can see this clearly. Like, this is where you're meant to be. This is what you're meant to do. Don't confuse it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you set yourself free. You were different from the rest anyway. You weren't meant to fit in, Cappy. And I keep wanting to call you Taurus. Definitely check out that reading. But it's like, you feel like you the same one amongst the crowd of many of the same. Something about that. Child, don't give me the line. That's just what they said. But it's like, yeah, you always have options. There are infinite possibilities. But you got to be in your right mind. You know what I'm saying? In, in emotional state, you got to be balanced holy trinity with the number three coming from this empress mind body spirit to really use your discernment to see what is meant for you and what is not at this moment in time because it's interesting because your choice determines the future reality does that make sense like your choice right now the option you choose shapes the future you know and where you and even though you know, if you believe in destiny or fate or even whichever both to be honest but there is this idea of it's already been chosen for you. You know, the path is already chosen. I do feel like, though, God allows us the energy of exerting our free will in order to choose along the way that may, like, the, de the destined path, whatever you signed up to do and be and the purpose to fulfill during this lifetime, yes, that's already chosen. I believe that it's already written, right? However, the journey you take along the way is free flowing, it fluctuates because of your free will to determine, you know what I'm saying, to make the choice. Mm, do I wanna learn this path, this lifetime, or this one? You know what I'm saying? Or even just right now in this moment for the paradigm that you find yourself. Do I wanna learn this, this go around? Or Because it's always about cycles, right? That's just part of the, the, the circle of life. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it is. Anyway, I don't know for who that's for, but let's go on and try to wrap this up and get an idea of what kind of changes maybe that you can look forward to. Yep. 
<laughs> motivation. I'm hearing dedication. Come on, Nip. But yeah, and then I'm hearing uh, uh, Kelly Rowland. And who is that with her? Uh, oh my gosh, is it Lil Wayne? I don't even know, but that's what I'm hearing. This is going to help you get up and get at it. Yeah. Monarch is beautiful. That definitely signifies transformation, a complete and total transformation for me. You see how the wings is open wide. That's full of energies. Did I not tell y'all? It's something about the sacral and solar plexus chakras. Maybe that was Tori or Virgo. Shit, I can't remember. They run together. But it's the same for you, even root. So one, two, three. Those, the first three and heart, didn't I tell you out here? So technically the first four chakra. But with all this air, it's something about your third eye as well. So, or even throat, because maybe you ain't speaking up. You know, maybe you lying or deceiving yourself about what it is you truly want. I don't know for me to go all that kind of way. What do you truly want and how do you see your body changing? I swear y'all need to go check out that Taurus reading because this came out for them and their offering. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm looking about to put that over there again. Okay. Slide on up down so you can see it. Perfect. Okay. So let's see. What divine feminine energy will be helping Kathy? I still want to call you Taurus. What divine feminine energy will be helping Kathy during this healing or transformation or change? What divine feminine energy will be helping Kathy? Thank you. And we have... Catherine Labore, Lab Chap, don't give me the line. There's something about that chain or um, what you call that pendulum or what's the word for it? Pendant she's holding. I even, excuse me, I almost got a uh, penguin vibe, but I feel like it's, it's something about commemoration. It's the patroness of miraculous healing. Didn't I tell y'all somebody going through a major transformation or healing? I know I told Taurus that. The affirmation that you may want to use say, I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. I'm also hearing, I am ready for love. Mm -hmm. Come on, India Irie. Bottom of the deck, we have, oh, Hestia. That's fire energy straight off. Aries Leo Sage for sure. The god goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. Leo energy, heart chakra energy, heavy. And third, solar plexus, but heavy on the heart. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. There's peace and love and tranquility in your heart space. If you just sit with yourself, Cappy. Mm. So no matter where I am, I am home. And the most sacred sanctuary is found within me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Let's see what offering potentially coming through for you, Kathy. What potential offering as Kathy goes through this healing? What potential offerings for Kathy? Hold on, I see companionship that actually flipped over and hold on, y'all. Let me get them. Okay, y'all. These two flipped over. Companion. Yeah, companionship and spaciousness, which I'm gonna get to in just a second. This one didn't flip over. And that's exact oh hardship. I don't even know where this fits in. I mean, I guess not that I don't know, but the whole mental confliction and um that's the healing that really needs to come through. Some of y'all really gonna be torn. You know, some of y'all, and I keep hitting that, that's just a, my apologies. Some of y'all, because it, it, it fell, they actually came out like this. Like, even though that didn't flip over, that's the order in which they fell to the ground, right? Companionship first. This is that self-love, and I feel like this is you having that for, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I told y'all, even in the four wands, the masculine and feminine energy is unionizing or coming together, right? Do that first, and then you shall see it outwardly. But it says, when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, and that's where spaciousness comes from. Because I was so show about to say, that's why they fell out like this. Because it's going to come a point in time within either this relationship or whatever situationship this is, where you may found, find yourself facing hardship. 
and trying to figure out which way to go. What do I do? What do I choose? And in that period or in that uh, time, you're going to have to learn, Kathy, to really go with the flow, to let go, let loose, not be so rigid and take time alone. That's what basically what I feel like these are telling you. Separate yourself from anything that's no longer serving you, person, place, or thing. Okay? And when you go through the hardship, that's what you need to focus on. Like, what is it that triggered this? That's what you need to really focus on because that's probably the root of the situation and what, what you may need to separate from or not be so addicted to. That's what's coming through. But anyway, it says... Uh, may I welcome the solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. And then we have hardship. May I embrace what's happening right now as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. Okay. Didn't I say something about show me the way? I don't want to cover that up. And then spaciousness with that white butterfly up top. Something is purifying or needs to... Uh, um, I heard a whole bunch of words. Um, I heard transform, transcend, heal. Yeah, something about your mind, your mental space too. But anyway, it says, what do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things drain my vital. If I didn't even read this, y'all, I promise I didn't. It says, show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. Okay? Mm -mm, that's powerful. And then bottom of the deck, we have empowerment because it is very powerful this is what you shall gain from this you got to do the heart you got to hey the heart some of the heart you got to be motivated to do what's difficult but what's best yeah that's basically what they're saying that's no coincidence that i even put that right there like that because you ain't gonna want to do it if it was easy everybody be doing it, you know mm -mm. but it says when you ask the divine to take over you get pulled into your own authentic power it's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't even know why I'll be putting her all the way up here like that. Let's put her over. Okay. All right. Finally, let's see what abundance you have to look forward to, Cappy, in going through this healing process. That looks like it's wanting to come. Let's see, make it plain, please, for Kathy. That probably was both of them. I said, do the work and block out distractions. Like I said, it's going to come a point in time. I feel like that's what the hardships are for. So didn't I tell y'all from the beginning, don't be in there. I thought I did. Maybe that was towards, towards the end. But either way, it's coming back again. Don't be, try not to be in that woe is me type of energy when you as you are going through these hardships because you need to understand it's not happening to you but for you i know we hear that all the time and be like man that's still some bullshit <laughs> but that's what it is so as long as you can keep yourself motivated and understanding that let it shine let it shine let it shine you know what i mean anyway but they say your spirit guys ain't taking no shits now you they telling you i don't want to hear that baby talk you you fooling you know what it is you may not be grown spiritually but you you well know hey this ain't this ain't for the uh for the uh what's the what's the word i'm looking for fear at heart you know it's, mm -mm. it's for those that know no you know anyway it's not enough to dream or pray you've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. All right. Some of you are musically inclined and you've been not tapped in or something. And I feel like that may be something that will help you, especially the healing frequencies. Block out distraction says your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. Going back to the spaciousness, y'all. No coincidence that came out. I told y'all some of y'all really gonna have to get in y'all hermit mode. And didn't we get something of the sanctuary? It's bringing the Hesias bring me back to that. And also, what was it? But basically, the companionship was telling you to get alone. And I feel like with yourself, you know, so obviously, so you can be with yourself and like meditate, you know, contemplate, reflect and do some introspection to see what this is, how this may be affecting you, especially if you've been in some kind of toxic, toxic, listen at me, 
somebody something going on with somebody coccyx that's your um pretty much your tailbone but anyways what was i saying toxic codependency is what i was getting when i told you i got that devilish energy some of you may need to see why you have these attachments or these feelings towards that and if it's anything false that you were taught to believe or trained to believe it's time for you to free yourself from that which is why you're going to need the alone time anyways so you already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out basically what i just said in a nutshell <laughs> okay okay bottom of the deck we have power of prayer is all about what you say that, that tongue is powerful so please don't get it twisted you got to be careful what you're saying that's why what's the name got Taurus them got no more complaining and something else but um but yes yeah, the same idea like you got to stay optimistic okay it says give this situation to god for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heaven's unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you to, in response to your prayers. Listen. <laughs> Listen. In case you didn't get that, I mean, I hope and pray you did because it couldn't be no sweeter. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. But that's why I'm going to leave it, Cappy. I, I, look, I, say, I was about to say I promise that it resonates, but <laughs> I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially in including yourselves. And I pray this is what you're here for. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. If you're looking for any other type of video, please do check the playlist on my channel. I hope and pray you find what you're looking for. And I hope and pray to see you there. But if not, please take care. Until the next one, be easy. Don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Peace. Thank you.